Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. You see a you see a familiar like bl- almost black forest like vista. These mm-hmm. these sort of like deep green beautiful trees, and towering above it is a is a white spire. According to her. Where the castle once was, there's now just a white clock tower. What? Yeah. That's that has is is there a way in or out? Has has she investigated inside? What? Ah, I'm sorry. This is a lot to take in. Yeah, that's why I wanted to check in with you. <laughs> she she relaxes back in the chair. It's been a while since I've seen someone else from Tannhauser, so. Yeah, uh, one of the big reasons we're even communicating with the church in the first place is because we were curious about their own involvement in the situation. Apparently they got nothing to do with it, so she shrugs again. Well, fuck, that's usually the first person you find when you pull the mask off of, like, a given fucking crime doer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see you have done this before. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have. This is sounding like a lot, though. Um, thank you very much for informing me about this. I'm deeply concerned and anxious now, but uh, I'd rather know about this than not. So that's good. Thank you. Thank you, Mahal. <laughs> she smiles and slowly stands up and then takes a step away. Oh, don't forget Wait, your carrot. Hold on. Yeah, I can't forget my carrot. She sits back down. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're, you're, you're like a tiefling, tiefling, right? As opposed to... Like a like some sort of I don't know somebody who had demon blood transfused into them after you know birth etc. As far as I know, I am a tiefling. Tiefling, yes. I'm actually surprisingly used to chimeric tieflings. I don't know why I bring them up. They mm. tend to die out horribly. <laughs> so, uh, she reaches down into uh, she reaches down actually into her pack and pulls out a a small vial. Now, one of the reasons, like I said. Chimeric tieflings. One of the reasons the other chimeras might not have lived so long is because of this. She holds up a a vial that has just a pinch of blood that seems to be glowing with an almost like pulsing red energy. Marcus, you you look at it and oh, oh it's it's bad. You feel hungry. It's uh, not good. <laughs> Despite the fact that you're eating. Could you maybe uh, she... just put that inside a receptacle pocket or vessel of some sort that I cannot see through? She, she <laughs> like, shakes her head. Uh, sure, yeah. Thank you. Wraps it back up in a cloth and then puts it down on the table. Now, Hilda's actually extremely talented in blood magic and helped literally pull this out of my body, which might be why I'm not dead yet. Wait, but, wait, you're an, uh, you're an ASMR chimera, but you had tiefling blood inside you? I'm a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, mostly, like, no no part of me is ASMR. Just made by him, unfortunately. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I assumed too much there. Yeah, if I had angel blood, I don't know, I think I'd have superpowers or something. <laughs> 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 yeah. Shields her hands out. Unfortunately, it's just, like, a lot of cats, some snakes, some deer. She <laughs> goes off and lists, like, yeah. 30 different animals I for mean, a while. I those are really nice ears, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 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 she pauses for a second and then slides the blood over. Look, I don't want to I don't want to really carry this around anymore because uh this honestly this could kill me. So, if you want it, I don't like I don't know what I don't know what an actual tiefling would do with it, but like Eat it. enjoy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. She- do you know, she hands you a vial of blood. Uh, Mark, yeah, I, I keep that securely wrapped in the cloth and stuff it into the most secretive pocket of my ass sack. 
<laughs> uh, do you know like any anything at all about this blood aside from the fact that it came from you? Like, is it is it the blood of another tiefling? Is it? Uh... Yeah, I think if I had to guess, there's probably a donor chained up in the lab I was made in. That's extremely concerning. Did you? Tannhauser ain't great. Did you see this donor? Did he have ram horns? Personally, no, never did. Yeah. Uh, scratches the back of her neck. Ooh, I connects two and two in her head. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> delicately gets up. Ooh, I'm sorry. I know how <laughs> you. Um, yeah, no problem. Uh, <sighs> yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't summon me ever again, unless you really need my help, I guess. But like, really, really need my help. I'll think about it. (laughs) (laughs) She slowly leaves the room, leaving Marcus with so fucking much to think about. (laughs) Suddenly this screaming cucumber salad doesn't look that appetizing anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Marcus, as you you sit down and, like, honestly start to... You, you feel you feel that whirlwind of emotions and like God, it's colliding with all the logic and just a lot just got dumped on your plate and I'm not talking about the screaming <laughs> cucumber salad. Uh, somebody somebody else walks into the room, oh. takes a look around, almost starts seeing you there. Oh, hello, oh. Marcus. How's it going? Hi, rap. Uh, not too hot actually. How, oh. how are you? I'm doing good. He pokes this door. Hmm. Almost tries to slide a card into it. Mm. You uh, <laughs> what you up to, buddy? I'm trying to dis. I'm trying to discover this castle's inner sanctum. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Actually, what uh, have you had any luck yet? No, 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 no. Unfortunately, not. If I had to guess, the body of that great Iron Knight in the uh. In in the hub room, I believe it was called, should be interred somewhere there. And you don't think, wait, inside the, inside the Ashen Knight? What? What? (laughs) No, 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 no. Oh, oh, the body of the, okay, no, I've got you, I've got you, sorry. Sorry, my uh, head's a little bit of a mess right now. You don't think that the hub room is the uh, inner sanctum, do you? (laughs) son of a bitch (laughs) (laughs) the door creaks open once more (laughs) this time like marcus you you have not been able to ply this screaming salad even once with your fork I push around my screaming cucumber salad with my fork, no longer with much of an appetite. Marcus, <laughs> don't bully your food. <laughs> <laughs> the door creaks open. A rosy glint plays off of a pair of shades shaped like stars. <laughs> Hello, Marcus. Oh, uh, Rory! Hey, buddy! How are, uh, how are you? Did you see Rat on the way out? I did, yes. He was cackling gleefully. <laughs> yeah that sounds like him uh so why are you here (laughs) well rory folds his hands in front of him peers at the cucumber salad for a moment and then looks back up at marcus well i wanted to apologize for our initial meeting when i called you i believe my father (laughs) <laughs> yeah you did you did you did do that buddy i was a little confused about that honestly yes well you see it uh it has to do with doppelganger physiology you were the first person that i spied after i hatched from my egg clinging to the rafters looking around for any signs of life to replicate adorable <laughs> hey. cool so, uh, yeah, so it sounds like you've realized that I'm at not actually your father. Yes, yes, no, I have attained wisdom now. Okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> and I just wanted to, uh, say sorry if that rubbed you the wrong way. It did. It really, really <laughs> did. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> so, wow, that's actually really thoughtful of you, Rory. Thank you. I. It sounds like talking to Rat has actually done you a lot of good. It has, yes, he has many, many insights into what it means to live as a being that is little more than a curse inside flesh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep, that sounds like him again. <laughs> um... <laughs> I uh who I I was really expecting for uh for you to be just an utterly an utterly malicious customer that we would have to deal with uh inevitably but like you've you've really come a long way Rory in the incredibly short time since you've come out of that egg. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> and you know what I've I've been meaning to ask you actually is there anything that you want out of your uh your life you you realize that you don't have to stay as rory was it rory the story yes rory the story bamboo's lay <laughs> yeah so so you don't have to stay in that form oh no i could take any form that i desired but i quite like this one he plays with his star shades for just a moment <laughs> <laughs> okay that's good uh but is there anything that you want out of you know like life outside of Hanging out inside a uh, darkened void that functions as, like, I don't know, an interdimensional living room for a cursed castle of the highest caliber? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, I've been thinking about it, and I think I'd really like to be a pastry chef. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nice! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Okay! <laughs> that I can work with! <laughs> Marco snaps his fingers and summons an imp. Okay, so, I know literally nothing about pastries. That is basically, like, black magic of the most unknowable sort to me. This, though, is, uh, this is Jason, with a U. The U is very important to him. Do not forget the U. <laughs> Jason motions at his name tag. There is a U. <laughs> the U is circled and underlined. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's a pleasure, Jason. Anyway, Jason is a, a bit of a pastry prodigy, really. So um, if, if you needed any sort of guidance in that, uh, in that realm, he's your imp. Hmm. A, a teacher, a mentor of some sort. Interesting. <laughs> Tell me, can you teach me the mysteries of shoe pastry? <laughs> Awful cake. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, you have done me a great service on this day. I, I will return, and I will seek you out when I have uh, attained my dream. And I will make a full-sized version of, your, of you out of pastry when I do. <laughs> <laughs> Rory, that's oh man, I've been really emotional for the past like ten minutes, and that's just the nicest thing that anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna hug you. Marcus crawls under the table and gives Rory a big hug. Mm. <laughs> I do not like this. I do not like this. <laughs> It's okay. That's all right. It's happening anyway, bud. <laughs> okay, I've I should really make myself eat this screaming cucumber salad. <laughs> Jason, are you I I'm sorry, I completely forgot to, forgot to ask. Jason, are you okay with traveling with this man and teaching him the way of the pastry? Jason has already packed his bags. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> He has this tiny imp bindle. Oh my god, that's adorable! <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Lead the way, Jason, with a U. Ah! Jason scrambles up, takes this fish, and then exits. 